What's up? Like what? It's not bad. The pay is good. You get to see a lot of the wasteland. And it keeps you on your toes. It makes you sharp. Back when I was with the rangers, tracking and stalking enemies was about the greatest pleasure you could experience in the field. You're stacking your mind, your body, and your weapon against another human being. Well, most of the time they're human. After all the waiting, when you do finally catch up to them, nothing beats the red mist. It's, it's better than making a woman climax. That's it, partner. Good to know that we think alike on this issue. Yeah, whatever you say. Let me be clear. I'm not talking about doing it like some sick fuck who kills homeless hookers with steak knives. I'm talking about combat. Survival. I first killed a man when I was 16. Shot a raider through the throat with a 308 from 300 yards. Decent shot. It fucked me up bad. I couldn't stop thinking about the finality of it. He had ceased to exist because of me. The second one was a legionary, caught shrapnel from my grenade during an ambush. He died slowly. I kneeled beside him, watched him go. You watch a man's soul drift out of his pupils, it changes you. Nothing is the same, no matter what anyone says. It wasn't as bad as the first, though. The third one was special. It was a raider who'd come near our position at night, just wandering, smoking. He had no idea what was coming. By that time I was getting good with the knife, and I was strong for my age. The sergeant gave me the nod, so I started slithering towards the raider. It was cold that night, lots of stars. Time moves slowly when you're trying to kill a man close up. You see, smell, hear, everything. He was taking a drag when I jammed that blade into the base of his skull. He went down faster than I expected, almost knocked me off my feet. The first two times, I'd been afraid, overwhelmed with empathy. The third time, it was simply exhilarating. I could fuck the most beautiful woman alive, drink the finest liquor, smoke the best tobacco, and nothing will ever match that sensation. It was conquest and domination. That's the purest instinct for anything that draws breath. And I was determined to feel it again. Maybe you want to judge me. Maybe not. But deep down, in that part of you that is still an animal, you know it's true. We're born to kill. You're a fucking hypocrite. You can't. Not ever. You start trying to make excuses for the other guy, he'll take advantage of the opportunity, and then you're dead. But deep down, in that part of you that is still an animal, you know it's true. We're born to kill. You're not listening. I've never killed an innocent person and I never will. What I'm talking about is the contest between you and the enemy. Whether it's a raider, uh, an outlaw, or some legion fuck, you know that they're out there, and they'll kill you at the first opportunity. It's like a game of poker, except you've bet your life, and the other guy just called. You bluff, you fold, or you lose, and you die. By the time I was 18, I had over 20 confirmed kills. The fact is, I excelled at killing people, and the rangers respected me for it. I started with the rangers as a beat up, starving kid with no prospects. When I discovered my talent for killing, it gave me an identity. The first part of my life was spent in chains, subservient to another person with no will of my own. When I learned, I could alter a man's place in this world, snuff him out. It was the first time I felt power. I would never be a slave again. Sorry if I've 
upset your delicate sensibilities, but I won't apologize for killing my enemies, nor for being damn good at it. Lead on. <laughs>